My name is Justin Wetzel. I'm from Sterling, Illinois, and I'm here in Denver, Colorado, training at the Elevation Fight Team. Stephen Merrill, surgeon right here, fighting out of Fort Dodge, Iowa, fight for Lake Martial Arts. I started training shortly after high school and took my first fight when I was 19. I better do it before I get too old, so here we go, I'm doing it. I know he's more of a jujitsu based fighter, and I know all of his wins are in the first round. I don't really know much about him. I think he's maybe a Naga champ, so probably got some decent grappling. Uh, that's not going to be the case. I'm a much more well rounded fighter than Steve. I'm looking to take you out right away. I hope you've been training hard, man. Real fighter comes to fight. So I'm talking about guys. Making his way to the cage aggression octagon is the surgeon Stephen Merrill. Five foot seven, 140 pounds, fighting out of Fort Dodge, Iowa, in fair flip, taekwondo, and martial arts. Coming out to a jam too, buddy. So what does this song Can tell I get you? A what, what does this song tell you about Mr. Merrill right now? Oh, he's probably real calm and, and comfortable, like. Yeah, uh, the guys that come out to, uh, you know, the hype music, uh, so, you know, sometimes they need that to get them in the mode. Oh, but for sure. If you come out to something like this, man, you're probably just trying to stay nice, calm, and relaxed. And we all know the fighter that can think the best is usually in the best chance to win the fight. Yep. And, and you know, this is feel-good music, you know. Yeah, I feel and I guarantee... That there's a smile behind that beautiful mustache that he's sporting right now. There is a smile be behind my beautiful mustacheless mustache. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, what well, I don't know what that means, but it sounded good. <laughs> Two weeks notice for Miro. You think that's going to come into play a little bit? Depends on how hard he's been training up until that point, man. If he's in shape and he's ready to go, I mean, could be a good night for him. A lot of times, guys... Uh, you know, when they don't have to think about an opponent for such a long time, it makes it a lot easier on them. They can just come in, handle their business, and, and be out. Collect a paycheck and roll. Yeah, I'm digging the stash, man. And my lord, that is a beautiful I'm digging the stash. mustache. <laughs> that is just a burly caterpillar of a mustache on that man's face right now. Now making his way to the Cage Aggression Octagon is Judson. Justin Wetzel, 5'9", 140 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, an elevation fight team. No stranger to the cage aggression octagon. No, and it's good to see him back, man. Yeah, I love watching Wetzel fight, man. It's been a I trained with time. him quite a bit, you know, and, and I've, I've loved seeing him get better and better every time I see him fight, anytime I train with him. You know, it's been a while, so I can't I can't wait to see what he's got. Yeah, and he's in a good position out there in uh, Elevation Training Center in Denver, Colorado. He's got some big names out in that gym. He's got some great training and a lot of opportunities for him if he wins this fight here tonight. And you know, going going so far away to train for a fight, I've done it before. It's dedication. And, and it, yeah, it's dedication, but at the same time, man, you miss your family and you miss, you miss the norm, you know? You miss the comfortability that you have with your part, your training partners and stuff like that. But the good thing about him going out to elevation is he went with his with his good friend uh, Austin. Yeah. So Austin Hubbard. Yeah, Austin Hubbard. Yeah. So you know he's out there with him. So you know if he's ever having second guesses about you know is my training going well? Am I doing well against these guys? You know all he's got to do is test himself with somebody that who he's comfortable with, somebody like Hubbard, and, and you know everything comes back and comes back and you know he can end the training and say you know what I've, I've improved this camp and I feel confident going three into the fight tonight. Five minute rounds and it's powered by AHA Holisticals. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 138 pounds. He trains at Pfeiffer Lick Taekwondo and Martial Arts and is sponsored by Elite Sports, Top Mount Apparel, McChesney Auto, Weston Tree Service, Hilzebeck Window Cleaning, Erica Trudeau Adams Hair, and Wild at Heart Tattoo. Joining us from Fort Dodge, Iowa, the surgeon, Stephen Merrill! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 139 pounds. He trains with Elevation Fight Team and is sponsored by Sauk Valley Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. GMX Jumpers, 
Graphic Signs, and Mariah's Pizza. Joining us from Denver, Colorado, Justin Wenzel! And obviously the fan favorite here tonight, Justin Wenzel, man. The crowd's pumped for him. Hometown guy, ready to rock. And you know, back in the day, they used to, you know, he's from the Sterling Rock Falls area. They used to take a party bus down here full of people and, and, and come cheer him on. So I wonder if they're still doing that now. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, if you guys pay attention to this fight, it, it might be pretty exciting. Both these guys had big smiles on their face last night at weigh-ins. They both love to compete, and uh, this could be a possible fight of the night. We got Justin Wetzel in the black and purple shorts, and the surgeon Stephen Merrill in the black and white elite shorts. Yeah, and Wetzel doing a great job right away getting started, staying busy, and uh, trying to implement and implement his will into this fight right now. Yeah, you know, that nice little flurry to get him up against the cage. And, you know, anytime you got somebody's back against the cage and you're staying busy like he is, you're winning the fight. Both guys trading some knees. Merrill not refusing to back down just because his back's against the cage. He's still looking to scrap and uh, make it a tough one for Wetzel. Bunch of overhand lefts landing. And yeah, and short all elbow. of them are landing. Yeah. And that, that, you know, you can compliment that to his head position, you know. If he stays with the pressure on his head, on the right side, he can throw them lefts all day and land them right to his eye. Ooh, foot stomp. The nice traditional foot stomps, love boy. I love it. Love it. Making it back. And Merrill trying to put his foot up on the cage and try to reverse position. But Wetzel doing a go good yeah. job of keeping that hip pressure in, head pressure, and just really smothering Merrill up against the cage right now. Ooh, short knee. Ooh, a couple short oh, nice knees landed. Man. Good dexterity by Merrill to stay on his feet, using kind of that BJ pin, knee shield, trying to keep keep Wetzel's hips away from him, avoid uh, taking some knee strikes. But yeah, it's a great tactic, underutilized um, for the most part. Uh, He's I'd like, using it well. I'd like to see Wetzel try to drop down and maybe attack a single leg or run the pipe on that uh, that knee shield side if he can. But Merrill's doing a good job of biting down on that overhook, and it would probably make it kind of hard for Wetzel to release to get into the leg. So um, I don't know how much longer Ben Wilson's going to let this go on. I mean, they're doing some work, but there's not a lot. And Merrill dives for a guillotine right away. This could be tied. I can't see it. Not a very good position to be in a, up against the cage like that, oh, yeah. especially if Wetzel pops his head out. He's not going to get any torque from this position, you know, but, you know, some people are flexible and can get you know, and submissions like that. like that. And just like that, Wetzel uh, gets it out of the guillotine, but he's in a rubber guard situation. Lockdown here. Super big bite on the overhook on the left side for Merrill. There he explodes and gets his arm out and I can throw some shots to the body. And you know, a lot of times that'll frustrate a guy from the top when, that, when you're trying to pull on that arm and you really got to use, use all your strength and the pop to get it to pull out of there. Coming up on a minute and a half. Oh, oh nice good elbows. Great oh, elbow. Oh, man. And he darts choke right power. away. Man, Merrill's pretty flexible flexible because uh, Wetzel attacked a nice Darce and he could have finished if, if uh, Steve, if, uh, sorry, if Mike, it. Steve, yeah, Steve Merrill would have uh, not thrown his legs up and fished for those hips, man. Good job. Good situational awareness. Tenderizing that leg right now with them elbows. Oh, nice elbow. Elbow, right. elbow to the temple. What's Merrill's got the really good Merrill's got the right underhook, the, the right side. It's the left side, but it's the right underhook for him. He needs to just kind of scoot his hips and continue to elevate uh, Wetzel off the top of him to try to stand up. Got a little bit of a half butterfly and then the double underhooks, but falls back into full guard here. Foot on the hip. Big you know, Merrill's making, you know, he, he's making Wetzel work and he's creating a lot of dangerous positions, but Wetzel sees it coming. Oh, and that left hand landed as Wetzel came in. 
And now he's got one hook in from the backside. Probably gonna look to soften him up, try to get his other hook in and finish a rear naked choke here late in the first round. Full mount situation. Good just crushing elbows, elbows here. on top. Nice. Merrill's Ten just got his left. back taken. He's got him flattened out and he's gonna go off right now. Eight Punch seconds it right left. to that ear too. The ref might stop this, there's only four seconds left. Yep. Just and they stopped just it with one second left seconds. in the first round. And uh, some of those shots look to be kind of to the back of the head. I know he was targeting that glove and ear area, but great job by Wetzel to smell that 10 second bell and get down and dirty to finish get the, the fight. Get the job done, yeah. Man. Yeah, he turned I go it to up a second round. round. Right, right. I go to a second round when you can just finish it in the first. And a couple seconds left, but man, he was he was pounding on him. And it didn't matter if he got if he was able to get that finish there or not. That's still a good tactic because you're laying in some heavy damage at the end of the first round and leaving no doubt in the judges that you are the dominant, a stronger performer. And uh, he got the job done. And, and let alone being pumped. able to recover during that time. During you know you only get a few seconds to in between rounds. It would be still hard to bounce back from that. Yeah, well, absolutely. Wetzel's still full of energy. I bet you he kind of wishes that he slowed down so he could get a second round out absolutely. of this. Absolutely. And Merrill, but you know what? Easy payday. And Merrill's over there. He's definitely wearing it, man. Short notice fight. Hats off to him for stepping up and being a man and taking that against a tough opponent. I bet he's pretty disappointed in himself, but he has nothing to be because he showed up, and uh, I believe he did give it his all. So keep your head up. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Ben Wilson, has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 59 seconds into round one, declaring your winner by TKO, Justin Wetzel. There you have it, Justin Wetzel, your winner here tonight at Cage Aggression 24 Champions. All right, come on over. I'm here with your winner, Justin Wetzel. Justin, first and foremost, welcome back to the cage. Congratulations on a buzzer beater TKO victory. Very beautiful. Tell us, man, what's going through your mind right now? Man, it's just great to be back. My last fight, I really hurt myself and I was out for a long time. And uh, I knew I was coming back, but uh, I just kept grinding, healed up, and uh, here I am, man. You know, you, you did something that's very tough to do, you know, and, and big props to Steven for stepping up on short notice. Mentally, it's very tough for a lot of guys to take that short notice opponent. Uh, did it change your game up at all uh, coming into this fight? No, I was ready to fight back in uh, January for Bellator, but uh, my opponent didn't want to take the fight. So uh, I just stayed ready and I, I prepared to take the fight at a moment's notice, so not really. So why don't you do us a favor here? We got the finish up on the big screen. Why don't you take a second, walk us through the, the last moments of that. Well, dude, I didn't think the ref was going to stop it. I started looking at him like, are you, you going to stop the fight or what, dude? So I started getting a little tired again, flurrying, but got it done in the last second, so it's all good. Yes, sir. Well, like I said, you look very good doing it. I know there's big things coming up in the future for you. Uh, anyone you want to thank before we let you get to the locker room? Yeah, all my sponsors, uh, Mike Goodwin for uh, bearing the past with uh, our issues and having me on the card. My corner here, Ryan Ishmael and Corey Galloway coming out from Denver to help me with this. Uh, everyone for coming, thank you. You're cheering for me, you're booing for me. I, I love the energy you bring, so thanks, guys. Well, you know, all of our fans feel the same way, and we're looking forward to seeing that energy right back here in the cage again. Thanks again, Justin. Your winner one more time, Justin Wetzel.